Tuesday math. So divide, very powerful symbol. If you take uh, nine and divide it by two, you get four. No, divide it by two, right? You get 4.5. Or you get, what did you just get with a division? Because you can't cut a person in half, so unless we're cutting, uh, rendering beef, how else can we divide? This is the problem with that simple addition challenge, too. When I add two apples and uh, three bananas, I've got five pieces of fruit. So I can talk about fruit. But if I want to pit the apples against the bananas, which side do you pick? Apples last longer. And are easier to grow. So you may pick the easy choice. But this is divide and <laughs> debate. These aren't debates. But the careful, the nuance here is creating the division in the first place. Instead of an all-out war where you're just going to kill something until everyone's fed up with it and wants to stop. This division is a lot, lot more subtle. It's gerrymandering districts. Somehow someone could agree on a computer model to do that eloquently in an open source that everybody could understand, but it would mean you'd have to understand the databases they're using and they're selecting from. And that's, that's private information, right? More valuable than your social security number. They can steal more money from us like that with those politics than we can think about. You get into arguments over the size and the need for uh, competition. That is such a misused word. It's not a justification. It's a fact of life. Every person born needs a ton a year of dirt harvested to exist. Every person. And the ton is the wrong number. It depends on the state and the parents you were born under. And the country and the nation and the opportunities you had. So, by dividing, you keep the pawns out there. The more pawns you have, the more powerful an army you've got. The more blockers you've got and time to manage and plan. This is something media has done us a disservice in, but it's a boring story. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for listening.